Welcome to another travel vlog. We just arrived here in the seafood capital of the Philippines, Capiz Rojas. This is Martin's first time here in Rojas, and you've seen some of my videos that was filmed here in the seafood capital of the Philippines about two years ago. And this time, I'm here again with my lovely. Fiance. Oh. I'm still not used to. It. I'm still not used to neither, saying neither. that you're my fiance. Okay, my boyfriend. If I say sometimes that he's my boyfriend, because I still feel that he is. It's okay with me. <laughs> so we came from Carles Iloilo, which is about an hour and a half drive to Capis Rojas. And as you all know, in every travel vlog, there's always a route to. Upon entering, you will see this log. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a log, right? It's a log, yeah. And it's a piece of wood. It's a very yeah. beautiful piece of wood. Yeah, it is. And some palayoks. You know, in the Philippines, we used, I used to smash, smash a lot of those. It is used for cooking, but also for palayok. There were two ube cheese pan de sal, but Martin ate it. Uh, so, I'm really sorry, I didn't know you were saving it for the vlog, but hey, if we turn it around, that's kind of how beautiful it was before I just like... <sighs> so, bringing my iced tea, this is actually a full living room. Or I don't even know. But it has a great view out in the garden. I'm really amazed about how spacious each lot is. Normally, if you come to a hotel, they're like battling for uh, the space, but here it's just like... You have a full garden. Full patio, large living room. Look at the space under the ceiling here. And it's banig. Now the thing that I like about this room is that they don't give us a bottle of water. Instead, they gave us a dispenser, and we can easily refill our water bottles or our glasses when we get thirsty. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Save Mama Earth. Over here, you have two AC units. Before going into the master bedroom, big double bed. I think it's a king size. Yeah. Don't you think? US standards, this will be like a super size bed. It's really big. Mm -hmm. And then here, flat screen TV, has cable. Maybe we can figure out if it YouTube. Hopefully. And then this, I really like to play some music in the morning. Yeah. Just to create an atmosphere in the room. Over here, it's like a couch section in, in the window where you can. Down, have good talks, have a glass of wine, or just enjoy nature. For the biggest bathroom you've ever seen. <laughs> it's like as big as the whole villa joke. Okay, by the way, I really like the door. Can I just say that it's made out of capis? I think it's called capis, and we are in capis. Rojas, diba? Yeah. Very nice. Very traditional. I don't see a lot of houses in the Philippines that has that. That's the first time I've ever seen. Mm. So I guess details go mm -hmm. into this place. We have a table in the middle of the bathroom where you can sit in the morning, have a cup of coffee, and just discuss life. <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> it's not often that we have a hot tub inside our hotel room, so we might have to actually enjoy that. Big shower. If you do yoga. I can big. Look at this, it's super big. I like that. Just, just so you know, he's. If you go to his channel and I did the room tour, those are all my jokes. Mm. Oh, oh, what do you mean? So you mean like I'm copying your jokes? <laughs> okay, on <laughs> that time. Okay. <laughs> Got the, everything of the toiletries over here, and what? I nako. You found the beer? Ah, uh, no, 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 man. First time I've seen. This. 12 beers. <laughs> <laughs> they don't save all the gunpowder here. What's pretty cool here is that it has its own urinal. <laughs> yeah. You can even hear the birds sing here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Listen, beautiful. <laughs> it's quite cool. It's a bird. I want to show to you guys how big the pool is. And at night, there's still some constructions going on, but that is the pool. It's super big. And as you can see, there's like a screen here where you, where you can watch movies at night. I think that's one of the best features of this hotel is that you can watch movies while swimming at night. This is what it looks like. And there are even kayaks that you can use for the pool. Just like that. Just like what they're doing. It's really pretty here. Now that I'm done showing you guys the pool area, I'm going to their cafe. Cafe Blanco. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Hi, Jessica. <laughs> Hi! Hi, Joa! Well, hi, Joa! <laughs> this is basic chorizo with scallops and crackers. Mm. It's so colorful. Yeah, very curry curry. Yeah, What's this? Eggplant? Um, gising gising. Gising gising. Okay. Hong Kong. Good morning! Second day here in Astoria and now we're jumping on to this van and explore. <laughs> subscribe to Okay, fine. Subscribe to Martin. The link is below. <laughs> we're gonna ride this van and explore Rojas. Hi, Kuya. He's our driver for today. And will you be joining us as well? They do customized uh, trips, so if you want to check out some spots in Panay or Rojas, Capiz area, you can easily tell Historia. And this is Cheska. She's actually my uh, college friend. She's my classmate. Very crazy. She used to vlog, to vlog, to vlog, to vlog. A little vlog. Agabases. Are you a morning person? <laughs> Later. Not exactly sure what's the name of this port, but there's a lot of fishermen as you can see, like them. There are also big fishing boats over here. They're just chilling because now it's nap time. Fishermen usually work at night or early in the morning. So those are the nets used to catch the fish, crabs. <laughs> That's our boat. Go guys. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Is that your flag, huh? Yeah. There's no sharks here. You're scaring them. We've made it here in Napi Island and we are the only ones here. So lucky. Here in Olotayan Island, there's no one here but us. We're pretty lucky today that there's not much tourists. Martin's right here. He's gonna drone soon. This place is really nice. So as you can see, there are some new pahats that got destroyed during Hurricane Ursula. It's so quiet here. I don't even see some locals here. I don't see anyone. Where? Oh, I see a dog. They're probably taking a nap. Shesta time. Martin's enjoying the water. 
be swimming. Martin! Martin! The water is so clear. See? You can see the stones, the sun. And I am Victoria Muna. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm jealous. I don't have my bikini with me right now, but I wish I can swim. Martin's having a great time without me. <laughs> I got super jealous, that's why I decided to get out of the boat and just chill here. Purple jellyfish, I don't know if you guys can see it. Inches later. We're back here in Astoria and Martin went straight for the pool because it's been a really hot day for us. That's why we're gonna take a quick dip before lunch. It is. Paddling a kayak in a pool. <laughs> no big deal. Paddling in the pool. All right, lunch time here at Panay River. We're gonna take this floating restaurant <laughs> out on a cruise. That small boat is gonna pull us and cruise around Panay River. Those things that you can see are oyster farms and fishing pens. Got some ice cold beer. <laughs> Cheska's getting a massage. <laughs> Dre is working. Ryan is getting her beer. Yeah. There's a boodle fight here. Oh, thank you. Boodle fight. Seafood boodle fight. Oysters. Fresh from this river. Martin's also getting a massage. I can't believe this. This is too good. Wow. With a nice view. Hi, Ate. <laughs> Hello. Martin. Hi. <laughs> My hair is getting long. Are you enjoying this? <laughs> it's really good. It's our boat. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Hello. It's pretty cozy though. Yeah. We made our say. own lights. <laughs> um, our own, huh? <laughs> Whose idea was that? I mean, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I'm taking credit for it. <laughs> Brian over there. Uh, <laughs> it works. <laughs> this is pretty romantic church. Yeah. <laughs> Double date. Yeah, <laughs> Double date. Uh. The next day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, nice. <laughs> Gearing so up. Yeah. Thank you. The dancing porters of Kulasi! <laughs> Ayan, di ba? Oh my gosh, this is the first time. in Kulasi port to check out how they transport the seafood to other places in the Philippines or even other parts of the world. As you may or may not know that Capiz is actually the seafood capital of the Philippines. If it's good seafood, most likely it came from Rojas Capiz. Oh wow. Yeah. So uh, it's all stored underneath the boat. Yeah. And it's all frozen so that it's well preserved. Wildly transport. Because they're gonna ship it all over the place like the Ido, Manila. Amazing. Mm. A lot of fresh good seafood comes from here. And uh And we are on the road again. We are just in Kulasi Port for about an hour to check out the dancing porters of Kulasi Port. All we do here is eat, sleep, eat, sleep, drink. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of food, look what we have here. <laughs> Ano to? Laswa? Laswa! Laswa! Yeah. Oh, di ba? Feels like um, we're attending a party and bad luck tayo. Tayo ang titi. I know! Lunch time! I have something for you! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna try it? Yeah, it's chicken, right? Come on, tell me. It is chicken. No. It's chicken. It's chicken. <laughs> this is lengua. I didn't know you were a card. 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 Stomach. Stomach. Huh? Bullet. You can look at it, but it's meat, though, right? Yeah, you can eat it. Oh, it's not meat. <laughs> what is it? Chicken <laughs> What is it? Gallbladder. I think gallbladder. Stomach, something in the stomach. I knew it! That's why I was asking you. I'm never gonna trust you again now. Why? You're never gonna see this in the vlog again, guys. Here's her chance. <laughs> Later. Arrived here in Sanctuary of the Sacred Heart. It's like Christ the Redeemer, na hold up. 
<laughs> Hold up to Charot. We're here with Kuya, Kuya Rodel. <laughs> this is Brazil. <laughs> All right, so Martins, now is actually the perfect time to check this place out because the sun is about to set. Martin's gonna drone it and I'm gonna show it to you guys in three, two, one. Dinner time! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Ang popogi naman ng mga taga Historia. Thank you! Wow! Um, that looks yummy. Thank you! Oh my god, wow! And we're watching The Notebook. Martin! Hello! Dinner is ready. You can swim while watching a movie. So right now we're watching the notebook because Martin hasn't seen it yet, so <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies. How's the food? Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> the kare kare is so good. Also the pet chai salad. Well everything else here is good. Kare kare really stands out for me. It's the best. I don't know, it reminds me of my grandma's cooking, and that's a compliment. <laughs> Just published a travel vlog that Dr. Dre edited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's busy taking photos of Martin because he wants a photo over there. Yeah, I'm gonna show to you guys some cinematic shots in this pool in three, two, one. The next morning. Good morning. It's 6.30 in the morning and we're going to the market, the wet market that is. Here's our van. Where's Kuya? Welcome to the wet market. <laughs> no <ball. laughs> Martin's like getting a lot of uh, attention because he's the only foreigner here. Hi, Bo! <laughs> this fish market is really big. I haven't seen anything this big. <laughs> Here, even if it's all the same, it's like 
so much fish. Catfish. Have you guys tried catfish before? Stop and look! <laughs> Just a few blocks away from the wet market is the city center or I think this is the center of the city of Rojas. <laughs> I don't know, it's so early you guys. I'm not really whew, hyped up to vlog yet but here I am vlogging for you guys. So right now what you can see behind me is a church. I don't know what's the name of the church. I'm pretty bad at vlogging right now but it says that it was built at 1877 whoa it's like more than 150 years or 140 years old if I'm not mistaken math if you guys are good at math please comment below how many years has been it uh, yeah <laughs> English so this is what it looks like there is an ongoing mass inside uh, there's like a fountain right in the middle of the elliptical road actually the fountain serves as an elliptical road there's the I think that's the city hall it's like a bridge over there Raw City is pretty small and you can easily get around within half a day maybe but there's still a lot of things to do outside of Roa City, like Panay, um, you know, the things that we've been doing since we got here. And there's just so many things to do, but mostly eating is one of them, definitely. That's what's all what we've been doing lately. Tricycles like these which is their main public transport. I do see some jeepneys, but I mostly see the tricycles. So this is the city hall of Rojas. That is a statue of Manuel El Rojas, which is, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know, fifth president of the Philippines or the sixth pretty bad at numbers so sometimes if you introduce yourself to me tell your name one second I forget it right away that's how bad I am mm -hmm. so sorry is he the fifth or the sixth president I forgot I'm so sorry if my history teacher from grade school and or high school is watching this I'm sorry I wasn't probably paying attention at that time but at least I passed the subject. <laughs> the following day. Leaving Historia. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Mami miss nyo ba ako? Yes, <laughs> We'll be back soon. Yes, and oh, yes. Bye bye. You, He's also a subscriber, by the way. Hi. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <Iyok> na ako. <laughs> <laughs> ang mga mababait, ang napakagaling na mga taga istorya. Oh, oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. No, I'm not ready. I don't want to leave this place. Five days is definitely not enough to explore Capiz. We will definitely be back here in the seafood capital of the Philippines soon currently uploading a travel vlog on my Facebook page so if you guys haven't liked and followed my Facebook page yet I'm gonna put the link below so I'm starting to upload slowly uploading some of my old travel vlogs on my Facebook page I've loving it Patrice Averilia I'm not ready to leave this place oh my gosh wait speaking of the driver's calling hello hello sorry hi kuya uh oh yeah. Uh, sige pa. Oh my gosh, we have so much stuff, Martin. So much stuff. That's just yours. What? Joke. No. These are so, all the food. We're sharing one big bag, but I gave her the bigger space. Right. I did. Look. <laughs> From here 
to here. That's you. Because I have the dirty laundry. Okay, that's the guy. Let's see how the uploading. Oh, it's only 46% right here. It's only 46%. Not ready to leave. I don't wanna leave. By the way, the food here in Historia is the bomb. Uh, the service is exceptional. People are so friendly. The food is amazing. Their kitchen is clean, so that's a plus, 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 plus point. If you have upcoming events or are planning to visit the seafood capital of the Philippines, I'm gonna put the link of Historia Forest Garden link below. All right, um, I guess I'm gonna end this travel vlog. We will be exploring Antique next, so stay tuned for the travel vlogs. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next travel vlog. Bye!